It's story time! So grab your Mickey and Minnie, have some big ears like them, better to hear with, and uh, let your eyes run through my materials and your ears run through, for uh, the vision of God has come from Habakkuk 2, King James. So love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace, beloved. <clears throat> Clear my throat, get ready, buckle up. Going to be a good story time about unity, and uh, that's always before us because it, it 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 has to be if we do not agree to get along with each other looking at our com uh, commonalities instead of our differences with faith this world shall be destroyed so god now sets before all men life and death an open door unto heaven and a closed one unto hell that we don't have to go there unless we commit blaspheme of the Holy Spirit, the unforgivable sin. And uh, these things, no brainwashed souls can change or close because the Lord is opening up truth about all things and all things are now being restored exactly as uh, Matthew 17, 11 said. And uh, if people don't like it or agree with it, they are antichrist and stand in the way of the vision of God. At the same time, our good shepherd, spirit of unity, now heals. It's, he's healing the divisions of all of his people, claiming to worship him by the effusion of love for all. For peace comes forth through unity. And these are the days for all of us to stand up and be infused by love. All social clubs of uh, false, loveless religion condemning one another you're going to go to hell if you don't believe what I believe. Shall either separate... Uh, judge, uh, judgment has to start on the house of God, people. And uh, people have been wixing their merds for for uh, 2,000 years with a false understanding of love, which gives people in their brains, oh, you got a false God, you got a false God. Get over it. There's never been a false God, only a false understanding of his love. And so now, according to the Bible, and I believe it's Isaiah 54, Israel shall absorb the Gentiles. And uh, as all loveless uh, religion, it all either has to be now separated, uh, wheat and the tares grow not together in this hour. But these are the days that the 144,000 sealed ones of our beloved of Judah shall be aflame with love for all people. So rejoice, all of love, says our dove of love unto Israel. For ye have been made into partakers of the heavenly gift of the revealed divine mysteries of Revelation 10, 7 foretold. The mystery is completely over. The first is last, and the last seventh trumpet sounded first. And now all nations have become the Lord's. This, beloved, is because of Amos 9, is the sickle of the everlasting gospel of Revelation 14. Uh, it, it, the Lord is now revealing himself as the sower of the seeds of love who has overtaken his end time reaper who I am. There's nothing left for me to do. Um, people don't have to believe or do anything in order to to uh, receive the, the fullness of of the inheritance of everlasting life, everlasting love that is before all people of love who keep their love light on. And this is all foretold. And uh, those opposing me shall be left without root or branch because I'm connecting all prophecy. Those that don't believe what I'm saying, they don't believe in no prophecy. That's the problem. Jesus asked, would there be any faith Left on earth, nah, wrong answer, Not no, uh, no faith on earth next to it, not for prophecy. And Paul said of concerning prophecy, such must be embraced and uh, inspected most carefully in Thessalonians. And all that's good embraced, people will not even look at it. Get out of town. Religion is obsolete and they're closed down by him because he said that I would tear down all kingdoms of man, all imaginations of everything not built upon the rocks solid foundation of love whom the Lord always has been his most secret uh, identity because you cannot be a loving God and have unforgiveness in your voice for your children whom he created knowing whom what we would be. 
So embrace now uh, the weighty treasures. Now comes the time when uh, the, the master is away. Now is the time who shall be given meat. Uh, I believe that's Matthew 24, 22. The Lord asked, or no, one of those verses in 24. Um, who shall come? To give meat. It's it's his latter day Daniel of Daniel twelve thirteen who arises at, at with uh, to embrace my destiny as Elijah, and that's the last sentence of uh, Daniel. So it's time to embrace all the weighty treasures that the inheritance of love's most precious things are bringing forth, so the people can know that uh, these treasures of love are so great, so immense, and so fantastic that even me and my sister Trudy, we, we couldn't figure everything out until uh, our, such explode, exploding majesty in the motion of absolute honesty of all truth came forward. And uh, smacked me silly, gave me open-eyed visions, had me writing by a lamp that was never plugged in for uh, seven, eight minutes at one point. Um, of things concerning the future of the sons and daughters of God and the work of my hands, command ye me, saith the Lord God, uh, Isaiah uh, 45. And uh, I believed that. And next thing I knew, uh, I, I said, hey, if you're telling me this, uh, all this, you better prove it to me. So praise the Lord, because uh, these are new days. God is finally doing a new thing. So celebrate the prophets of Israel for their prophecies manifesting, and this word reveals all prophetic truths. And let the obedient obey Habakkuk, and let their ears run through my videos, uh, for they'll expose themselves to love's greatest secrets of the ages, exposed by himself our love of the ages. So now comes the order of love and hope. It's time for uh, uh, new understandings coming forth from uh, people anointed like Shias of uh, House of Beloved, uh, 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 another gospel writer in this world. It takes one to know one, and uh, I recognize that in Shias. So uh, make sure you check out House of Beloved. For all of creation has been awaiting the eager ex ex expectation uh, for the sons and, God, sons and daughters of God to be revealed. Because I had enough uh, moxie to command the Lord, he obeyed me, people. Believe it or not, as it's written, uh, command ye me, says the Lord. Isaiah 50, uh, 45, read it for yourself. So, and now comes... Um, now comes new days of love and new days of liberty, of the spiritual freedom of Judaism and all people. Um, and uh, it, it freedom comes upon Zion as a mantle sovereignly. And uh, uh, there are, uh, aside from myself and my sister, watch house of beloved for Shiasa now is walking in an, in an anointing of Adonai's hope for the future. And she's uh, uh, been uh, doing a lot of studying in Genesis, uh, preparing for a ministry of unity, which is what her ministry has always been, unity within love. And that unity is uh, transcends because it's unity within peace and hope and kingdom age blessings that now shall flood in as the floodgates of heaven open and, and pour out his very best blessings upon all flesh. So uh, praise the Lord um, that uh, I have uh, deemed uh, her to, uh, well not me, the Lord has placed her as a figurehead of chrysalum by the love that she, she demonstrates f from House of Beloved. And the glory of the Lord's latter house shall be greater than that of the former says the Lord. So it's time to get with the program. And he commands everyone to, to start having open-minded uh, mindedness in all respects. And please watch uh, the video, punch it in. It's called Apocalypse. It is finished. Great. Uh, it'll bring forth a divine uh, blessing. And uh, so welcome to, uh, this is the gospel of Shiasa Rose Kenny. And as Shiasa walked pleasant places of Israel with Jesus, a friend of hers, and her uh, and uh, confidant, um, as as they walked, 
uh, in uh, their video called Sunrise. The Lord made this author of Christ's last testament of love to understand the, the wilderness that she's been in as our Prince of Peace flashed a gift of knowledge to her about man's love. And love uh, showed me a vision of Shias's greatest honor, which showed me the glorious empowerment that love is now pouring over her as a flood of living water, says Daniel of, of uh, Windsor, Ontario, God's uh, last Elijah. But guess what? The first Elijah would come, according to the two witnesses in the book of Revelation, if that erasable future of Armageddon came. But according to the book of Malachi, uh, the, the, the curse of Malachi shall not come, and neither shall the, uh, if, we, if we walk towards the latter-day uh, unity and uh, peace of Isaiah 2, then there will be no need for the terrible uh, ministry of the first Elijah. I am the third Elijah of Malachi 3.1, who brings the covenant message for all mankind. So the power of faith is now stirred up to perfect all things uh, as the sons and God, sons and daughters of God are now revealed, people like Shiasa, uh, uh, as Revelation 8, 4, 19, 4 saw, says our spirit of prophecy. And this is happening now. And I will surely tell, tell of the Lord. Uh, he said unto me, he said, you are my son and today I have begotten you. Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, Psalm 2, 7. And love, that is whom the Lord is. So prophecy is now being manifested all over the circle of earth as people like Kirk Douglas, he gave away his entire $66 million uh, uh, fortune to charity because these are the rising days of Isaiah 60 and 61 where the wealth of the nations shall flood in to repair this world by love. For love needs an increasing demonstration all over the circle of earth. So people like uh, Marie Osmond are standing up and they are cheering loudly people because these are the days for rebels of love. And eternal life, it's time for all sons and daughters of God to know that their inheritance is now and they can have it now and that Satan has been removed now because he's given his eternal covenant of love to all people and saying, hey, and now, uh, no, I, I shall never uh, remember your sins and I shall forgive all your iniquities, which has closed the door to the devil because he is the uh, accuser of the brethren who can accuse no more. So people, these are days of uh, love and days of the Lord's resplendence of his finest charity coming forth, the benevolence of the ages that he brings to turn this world around. I am the uh, arrow of Isaiah 49, his end time servant, Daniel of uh, Daniel 12, 13. And the bottom line is he is the white horseman of the apocalypse and he goes forth in utter victory to claim utter um, a win-win for everyone in this earth because he is the overcomer of overcomers and he only wants likewise. So everything we want is on the other side of our own condemnation for our brothers. Everything that we want, all of the blessedness that he would send is on the other side of forgiveness of your brethren. Everything that we desire is on the other side of our fears, which we have allowed to grow and to fester in our brain like some unspeakable blech. You don't even want to know. Praise the Lord, these days are coming to an end when the the... The, the wise shall be able to finally to see as the stars, as Daniel 12 foretold for the last Joshua generation, who may now come forward and claim their inheritance. And uh, so these are no longer days of gross darkness, days looking through a glass darkly, because the, the, the word of love has come to set us all free. 
So praise the Lord and pass the ammunition, which are my uh, videos, people. And know that eternal life is now given evermore unto absolutely everyone, uh, exactly as uh, the lawless one reveals. And the lawless one, uh, morgue official from... Uh, 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 well, his name is Death, <laughs> the Antichrist, wannabe, who will not be because these days have been cut short by Isa Yeshua Jesus in Matthew 24, 22. He says uh, that the former age of grace had to be cut short by his inspiration or else no flesh could be saved. So praise the Lord that uh, people like uh, Morgan Knight, the uh, revealed lawless one. And by the way, he has the 666 on his wall in his Hyperion symbol. And uh, he is a sword swallower. That's why he would die from a sword in Revelation 13, 13, to arise to become the lawless one. So praise the Lord, and it's time, people. Let's blast on off.